Okay, I was saying that I wasn't perfect. I screw up. Um, but since I had surgery, I find myself thinking more than I did before. Um, like, you know, my pouch is really tiny now. So I have to watch what I put in it. And I don't want to put junk in it. That's what made me fat in the first place. Diet Coke makes you fat. It's diet, but it's full of crap that you can't pronounce. It's going to make you fat. It's going to induce cravings, and you're going to eat crap. Why would you put your body through surgery and then feed it crap? I mean, I'm not saying that I don't like an occasional cookie or an occasional bite of chocolate or an occasional glass or two of wine. But for the most part, I eat really healthy. I eat when I'm hungry. I quit grazing. And I don't eat chips or anything like that anymore. And because I think, what kind of nutritional stuff am I putting in my body? I don't just look at grams of sugar on a label. You know, I don't, I'm not like, oh, well, this only has like six grams of sugar. I can so eat it. I pay attention to the calories because, I mean, that's what's going to make you lose or gain weight. Excess or, you know, not excess calories or whatever. So I look at calories. I look at protein. I look at carbs in general, not sugars. Um... And then, I mean, if it's in a reasonable range of calories, I ask myself, what does my body get out of this? Would I be better off eating an apple or a banana or something like that? Or should I just stick with, um, like, say, pretzels or whatever I'm looking at, Chex Mix or whatever? I don't know. And for the most part, I go with the healthy choice. Um, I'm not saying that I don't screw up occasionally and reach for some chocolate or whatever, but I mean, I think it's okay if it's occasional. If it's not every single day that you're reaching for chocolate or, you know, sugary stuff that has no nutritional value at all. I mean, it's just junk and chemicals going in your body. It's not helping you out. And, um, so I'm, I'm really mindful of what I put in my body now. Um, like, I don't know. I always count calories now. And if I see that I want some chocolate... I'll go compare, like, kinds of chocolate and stuff like that. I'll see if it has, like, antioxidants or more minerals or something in it than, you know, just plain chocolate, you know, that just has empty calories and sugar and stuff that your body just doesn't need. Um, but like I said, um, I do eat crap every once in a while. You know, occasionally as a treat, um, it's not every day, it's not twice a day, it's not every week, but, and I'm not claiming to be perfect and that I know everything, but it's, this is just how my head has just completely done a 180 from before I had surgery to now, and I just think of food in a totally different way now and a lot of it has to do with uh, wanting to be vegan and living that lifestyle but another is having surgery and realizing that I was doing my body a disservice by eating all that crap and junk and not even thinking about it so that's what I try to tell people in um, the Daily Strength community, in my live journal community, um, in my journal that I have on live journal. And, you know, I, 
I'm not trying to be mean or snarky or arrogant. I'm trying to be honest and forthcoming and, you know, just a little bit stern to give them that kick in the ass that they need. Like, uh, this one person, they advanced to soft food before they were supposed to. And then they complained that their surgeon, uh, bitched at them. Of course your surgeon's gonna bitch at you. They have rules for a reason. You know, your pouch has to heal. You just had major surgery. Why would you want to screw it up? I mean, you trusted your surgeon to cut you open and play with your insides. Why wouldn't you follow his rules and guidelines? What if you tore open your pouch? Then you'd really be bitching. But, you know, some people, they just don't think. They're just so used to doing whatever they want to do. And... They are not going to succeed with this at all. And, you know, they're going to be the ones in a year from now, they're going to be whining about how this surgery didn't work for them. Well, if you follow the rules and guidelines, pay attention to your surgeon, eat nutritional stuff instead of crap, and exercise, you're going to succeed. But if you don't, forget about it. I mean, you know, weight loss surgery is a tool. It's not a miracle panacea. It's only going to work as much as you allow it to. You have to work with it, not against it. Work with your surgeons and his or her team. They know what's best for you. Don't think you can do what you want to do. I, I just cannot believe some people and how uneducated they are. And, okay, this is um, an answer that I put in a post about uh, the woman uh, having surgery last week and then moving on to soft foods when she should still be on liquids and then not losing weight for two days. Okay, I told her, please follow your surgeon's guidelines and orders. You just had major surgery. There are rules for a reason. You're going to stall. You're going to have to get used to it. Don't expect to lose weight every single day. It's ridiculous to think that you're going to do so. You didn't gain weight every single day, so you shouldn't think that you're going to lose it every single day either. I lost 9 pounds the week after my surgery. You've lost 13. That's absolutely fantastic. Your body is going to have to get used to letting go of the fat, and it's going to have to get used of the stress from surgery. Let your pouch heal. Let your body heal. Take care of your body. Love your body. Don't expect miracles from the surgery to happen overnight. It's going to take time. Get rid of the candy. She was going on about Easter candy being in the house. Get rid of the candy, make a chocolate and peanut butter protein shake. Add some sugar-free pudding mix to shakes for something sweeter. There are ways to satisfy candy and sweet urges. Go for a walk to get your mind off of it. Give yourself a manicure, put some lightning strips on your teeth. Your doctor was right to get on your case about going off liquids too soon. They have rules for a reason. You put your life on the line when you had surgery. You trusted your surgeon to cut you open. Now trust him enough to know what's good for you and your body. Follow the rules. And, you know, people are probably going to bitch at me for giving them tough love, but I think they need to hear it. Um, yeah, so hey, if you want to go see my other rant, go to dailystrength.org. Um, Threefold Utopian Dream in there too. I did a rant on my journal about how people want to drink diet soda and eat sugar. You know, do all the stuff that made them fat to begin with. And how they're going to be whining later that the surgery didn't work for them. 
So anyway, this is another rant of mine. I hope I didn't offend anybody. And, you know, this wasn't about anybody on YouTube, so I don't really want to hear any bitching and gropping to me about it. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all later.